Hi, I'm Dylan. Hi, I'm Zaibo. His real name is Zion, but we call him Zaibo. Uh, so, and today we're here with you with another math video now that we're back to school. Uh, yes, it's almost October. Uh, it's Monday, September 30th. Uh, and so, um, we have the app here, Notebook. Yep. We're on Zion's computer this time. Uh, yep. And so, what's going to happen is... Uh, so today uh, we're here to talk to you about greatest uh, common factors and low and least common multiples. Can't forget about those. And yeah. so to get those, we're going to use prime factorization. So let's get out the marker tool. Let's do it. Actually, should we use the marker tool or the text box? I think we should use the text box. Yeah. So that it doesn't look all scribbly. Yeah. So uh, new text. What number should we do? Uh, let's do. What is it? Thirty-six. Okay. We're we're typing in thirty six point five, so that's cool. Okay, and so now um, I'm going to draw a circle around that because you know why not? Yeah. So you draw about around. Oh, oh, that's how that works. It's going to be like that. That's not okay. That that's better. So um, and so we're going to draw a line down and the line down. So then um. So what is 36 divided by? Well, it divides by 2. So we're going to put 2 on this side. And 2 times what? 2 times what equals 36? Uh, Let's see. What, 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 does, what does it equal? 18. Okay, so exactly. 2 times 18 is 36. We're going to put 2 and 18 right here. So now 2 is prime. 2 is a prime number. And what that means, it only has two factors. One and itself. And so we don't need... We're not going to do... We're not going to draw down the... Uh, well, 36 has the factors 1 and 36, but we're not going to do that because then we're going to have to draw an infinite number of 36s because it's just divide by 1 and divide by 1 and divide by 1, and now we get old very fast. And so we're going to underline number 2 because it's a prime number. Okay, yeah, do you want to talk? Yeah. Alright, so after we underline 2 because it's a prime number, we're going to go into 18. So 18 is not prime. Not prime, so 2 goes into it. 2, so what? what? What's 2 times what equals 18, though? Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste the text box. There it is. Actually, I can redraw the line. So, um, 2 times 9. Yay, 9, number 9. Yep. So since 2 is prime, we're just going to underline it again. And you might be thinking, why do you need to underline it again? You already underlined it. But since 2 comes up in multiple places, and since 2 is prime and 2 is prime, then we're going to underline it. Yep, and plus you don't want to get confused, so it's always good to do this. Yeah, so we have 9. And oh, and just to clear something up, 1 is not a prime number. Because yeah. a prime number requires two factors, no more, no less. But 1 only has one factor, so it's not a prime number. And it's, some people, remember, some people think that 9 is prime, and it's not. It's not. Don't make that mistake. Yes. So, coming down, we have we have 3 and 3, because 3 times 3 is 9, right? So we have yep. 3, and then we'll make another 3 right here. 3 and 3. And since 3 is prime, we're going to underline those. And now we have reached the bottom. We yep. can't go down any further. So Nothing underline after those. This. Nothing after so that. So now if, uh, we write our number and as a product of its prime factors. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Yeah, because the product is when you multiply what the answer is. Yep. It's, it has a special name. It's called the product. And so a special thing happens when we take all the numbers that were prime. That's right. It equals 36. Okay, so now let's, um, so, uh, and now we're not done yet. That was just the prime factorization, but we haven't even, uh, now let's try to, uh, let's get the least common factor, okay? Yeah. Least common factor. So, uh, let's have another number, like, uh, 54. We've been using 54 a lot in class, uh, so let's do 54. 54. Yay! Now I'm going to circle it. Yep, because why not? Okay, yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's what you do with the number that's at the top. So we're going to draw down two lines from it. And so um, uh, every even number is divisible by 4. I mean, every even number is divisible by 2. Every odd number is not divisible by 2. Just putting that out there because it's true. So now we're going to have 2 because it's an even number. 27. Yes, yeah, so um, uh, 27 times 2 is 54, so we're going to put that on this side. And um, we're going to underline 2 because it's prime. And um, a lot of people make the mistake of thinking that 29 is prime, but... You mean 27 is prime. Yeah. A lot of people make the mistake of thinking that 27 is prime. So, uh, 
Wait, is 27 prime or not? Wait, is it? No, it's not. Because you can divide it by 9. Yeah. Ah, you can. So, we're going to draw two lines. Uh, 3 and 9. Yes, 3 times 9 is 27. And don't forget, 3 is also prime. Yeah, 3 is prime, but 9 is not. Yep. Uh, so, we're going to have 3 right here. Then, we're going to have... And three and three because like we saw over here three times three is nine so we're just gonna have the same thing right here so now we've reached the bottom we've reached the bottom of the prime numbers we can't go any further and so um, now we're just gonna do the same thing as we did before well this has been a long video we're almost up to six minutes yeah I know I'm sorry about that but okay so we have two times three times three times three is fifty four okay so now we're going to actually arrange them so that they're on top of each other. So we're going to move this over here. And so we're going to draw circles around the numbers that are in common. So we have two. Wait, wait, wait undo. That's a bad circle. An oval. So we have two and three. And so these, since these are the, um, we have that. And we also have that. And, exactly. and we don't have that because 3 and 2 are not common. Yep. And so we take the numbers that were here, and we only we take 2, since that was common, yeah. times, times 3, three. which times, is also times, times three. 3. And so what's that equal? Well, 2 times 3 is 6, six times three, 3 is 18. 18. So 18 is the greatest common, common factor. factor. So that means it's the biggest factor that they both have in common. So 36 and 54 both have 18 as a common factor. Exactly. And so do we have enough, do you think we have enough time to do the... Are these common multiples? Yeah. We've already been here for, for seven minutes. Should we keep going? Shall we keep going, Miss Davies? Well, is your video seven minutes long? Yeah. Yes. No, but we can't pause the recording. We yeah. It, it's not, the recording app that we're using, you can only make a recording. You can't pause it. You have to end it and then start a new one. So then it would be a whole different video file. We don't want that. So all this is on that video now? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that was our math feature. Okay, so, um, <laughs> I'm just telling the audience who it is. So, then I'm just going to, I'm going to drag these and move them to the side because we don't need them anymore. Actually, we sort of do need them. Uh, you can't forget about those. Actually, no, I'm just going to move that back. So, what, so what's going what's to happen now is, so, uh, to find the least common multiple, uh, so, um, oh, I should have, I'm going to bring those ovals back, so that can leave, so the ovals, uh, circle the ones that are, that are common, so we have, uh, two, uh, so we only include this once, because exactly. it's common, times, oh, why did it make a new text box, two, wow. times, Three times, times three. three. These only get included once because they're common. But then we have another two uh, that which we're going to include. You see this one right here that doesn't have a circle around it. Yep. And we also have a three that doesn't have a circle around it. So we include everything when we do these we, common multiples. So the ones that are in the circles only get included once, but everything else gets included all the time. Exactly. So uh, we have two times two times three times three times three, and so two times two is four. Uh, times three is twelve. Times three is thirty-six. Thirty-six times three is one hundred eight. One hundred eight. So that final answer. That is the least common multiple. And so what that means is, so the multiples is like what? So it's like the multiples of three are three, six, nine, twelve, and so and so. So the least common multiple is thirty-six. If you kept on going like thirty-six, sixty-four, and blah blah blah, and so um, and then if you did that with fifty-four, and so let's do two and three. So. 2, 4, 6, and then 3, 6. So 6 is the least common multiple because it's the lowest multiple that they both have in common. So 108 is the least common multiple. Exactly. We hope you enjoyed our video, and we will see you next time. Adios. Bye.